my name is Zach, um, and I am a very big Evernote user. Um, I talk to people about Evernote frequently. Um, a lot of people still don't know what it is, and that's perfectly fine. I think this is a great tool to use and learn um, because it has completely changed my life, and I know if it's changed my life, I'm sure it's able to do the same thing for other people. So I'm, I'm, frank, I, I'm always asked on how to use Evernote, how do I use Evernote specifically, and so I wanted to create a series of videos to show people on how exactly I do use Evernote. And so um, the series is designed to help people like you who you want to become more organized and frankly create more time for yourself. Um, I love Evernote. It's a simple application that changed my, my lifestyle and made me more productive at home and at work. Um, I'm, I'm very grateful to have learned this product. My best friend, one of my best friends has taught me how to use this, this, this application and it's changed, it's changed every part of me. I spend a lot of time talking about Evernote, but explaining it has always become more of a challenge. To keep your attention, I'm going to aim to keep these lessons under 10 minutes. Feel free to email me questions or recommendations to make this more beneficial to you. You can always reference these videos later and always come back to them if needed. So the best, people always ask me, when is the right time to start using Evernote? And I have a few different, few different answers here. If your life feels too hectic, you need to be able to track everything that's going on, which I think in this digital age is probably everybody. It's, it's hard for me to imagine going throughout life without having things organized and kind of in its own place. And that's what Evernote can help you do. Pursuing a paperless life, that's, that's been huge for me. I've gone to about 95% paperless, um, keeping very important documents. Uh, other than that, just have an Evernote to reference it. And we'll go over security on how safe your information is in Evernote in a later lesson. But it's very nice to kind of have everything on file and be able to reference it wherever you are. And it's in, if, if you just want to be better at life, um, I, I use Evernote to create more time for myself and to me using that time and creating that time to spend time with my family and friends and doing things I love to do. Um, that's, that's the reason this whole program is here for. Um, so enough introduction, you, you're watching this video to learn, so let's start with the fundamentals. Um, I am going to be using my, my real account right now, so a lot of this you won't see when you first download Evernote. Um, and this is going to be on the Mac version just because it's a little simpler to use. I use Mac at home and I have a, a PC at work that I use for and the Mac version really is a hundred times better but um, it's still definitely beneficial to have it to have the PC version that's if that's what you're working with. So let's go over a couple quick basics. Um, what is Evernote? Um, I have a few different definitions that I wanted to at least mention here and so it makes sense to you. Evernote's a one-stop organizational tool that lets you keep documents in one place. Um, Evernote is a cloud-based software service meant for creating, organizing, and storing various pieces of media. And we'll quickly mention what, that, what those media types are. Evernote's a web-based application that allows end users to capture, store, and synchronize text, images, and video files across computing devices. And that goes for your, your, your phone, your tablets, your computers, and this goes for all Mac versions and all Android versions as well. So a couple different of the organizing um, pieces of media include any handwritten notes that you're able to scan or take a picture of and, and or electronic, electronic copies of notes. You can also organize clips from the web. So if you're looking at vacations and doing some research or just looking at things that you want to buy for later in the future, um, this, is a good, this is a good application tool that you can use and store that information. PDFs, pictures, URLs, links, videos, audio files, voice memos, and most file types including Word, PowerPoints, Excel documents, and more. So on a side note, if you're not using keyboard sh shortcuts, I would definitely start learning this. Uh, this is for those of you who have never used Evernote. Uh, I think it's a good time to get into a, a habit. It, it might seem slower at first, but as you continue to practice and using um, keyboard shortcuts, it's going to save you a lot more time in the long run. It's a very easy time-saving hack that takes very little time to learn. 
I, I keep a printed sheet of my shortcuts on my desk. I told you I'm, I'm about 95% paperless, um, but it's it's a big deal to, to, to use these shortcuts and kind of get used to them. Uh, it's all about time saving. So whenever we, we review a topic, I will put the shortcut, um, I don't, I'll, I'll mention the shortcut for both the Mac and the PC version to help our time saving efforts. And I will post a reference guide of all the shortcuts for both Mac and PC at the end of this video. Okay, so we've, we talked about what Evernote is. Let's go into more of the specifics. What are notebooks? Uh, notebooks, I compare to like a, f a folder. Um, you keep a collection of notes in your notebooks, and you can easily keep these organized into groups. I'll show you an example here. Um, my notebooks, um, and we'll stick with a, a, a same example. Don't worry about what you see here. We're going to focus just on notebook, and we're going to focus on the car category. And this is a real life example of how I use it. Excuse me. Um, so before we move on, I just want to say to create a notebook, uh, a shortcut version of this on the Mac is command plus shift plus end. That will create N as a Nancy. Uh, that will create you a new notebook. And the Windows version is control shift, control plus shift plus end. And that will create you a new notebook as well. Here, I'll show you one right here. New notebook. You can type in whatever name you are. This could, uh, name it whatever you like. Um, personal work. Doesn't really matter. Go back into our card notebook real fast. Okay, so what are notes? Notes is our pieces of information that you keep in Evernote. Um, notes can come in the form of a written document, a photo, or anything else that we mentioned before. Think of notes as files or a document that you place into your folders. Um, and I'll show you a quick example of that. Um, but first, the shortcuts. Command N on the Mac version will create you a new note. Command N. There you go. You can type in whatever you know. You can type in notes for car. And that's the title of your note. And here is kind of the body of your text here. And here you can type in your bullet points and uh, example A or example 1. Example B, so forth. All right. So notes will include um, oil changes. Again, I'm in my car notebook here. Um, this is my Corolla title. This is what I keep in Evernote. Um, there's my wife's car, her GMC Terrain car title oil changes and so forth. So we'll go over a little more details into this here shortly. So those are examples of notes. Now tags are the third component of Evernote. Tags are another helpful way to keep you organized and quickly locate one or many notes of a particular topic. Simply enter a keyword tag in the tag section of your note for easy access. Um, an example here is here I have one car notebook. So my wife's car and my car all in this notebook. But what if I just wanted to look at my car? So my car is a 2007 Toyota Corolla, which you'll see here. Tags you can find, again, on the Mac version are at the top here. Again, car notebook, and these little symbols here is the notebook, and this little price tag things are your tags. Um, you can create tags on the fly and just create them however you want, or if you already have one, um, you can simply start typing it, and it'll auto-filter for you and... Uh, you simply just press enter to keep that tag, but we won't keep that in there because this is my wife's. So uh, if I wanted to quickly search for my car, the 2007 Toyota Corolla, I would simply type in this search box at the top right. And as you see, Evernote will um, give you suggestions. It'll give you notebooks that have it in, that have the Toyota Corolla in it, but I'm looking for tags, task specific. So for my 2007 Corolla, I have 28 notes that have the tag of the Corolla. So let me click on that. So now that I've clicked that, I can now see every single note that has a tag for my Toyota Corolla. Uh, that goes to my car inspection, my battery receipt, my insurance, um, auto insurance policy, registration stickers, and so forth. So now I can easily see every piece of document that I've had for the last few years to deal with my car specifically. And we could do the same thing for my wife's car. I have all that documentation easily filtered and sorted through. 
And that's what makes this so powerful is that I can only, I can look at the things that I only want to look at. Um, and so kind of a bonus, I want to show you something really neat that I think this is what um, has really improved Evernote significantly. And we're going to go over reminders in a little bit more detail on how I use it. But let's say um, we know that my uh, oil change. So as you see in this area right here, these are called reminders, meaning it's kind of a tickler to let me know when my next, when I set the timer on this. So oil changes are the golden rule is every three months or so. So my last oil change, you can see in this PDF file, and I'll show you a quick look at what that might see. Um, I scan all this information in or take a picture of it, and it'll automatically go to Evernote, and I make sure I store them in here. So I essentially am able to see my last oil change the oil change before that, um, some of the inspection services that were done on my Corolla, and so I can see that my, my brake system was checked, um, my tires were rotated, and they replaced my oil and my oil filter, which is great. Um, and that was back in um, November of 2014. My most recent one was in March of 2015. So I think that's beneficial to know whenever someone asks me, when's the last time you had your tires rotated? Um, I go back to my Evernote through my phone and I'm able to locate this. So now that I have this information, I can now set a timer on when I'm, I want to be reminded when my next oil change is. So I'd simply come over to this reminder list and I would type in whatever date that needs to be there. So three months from March of fifth, from March 14th would be um, in the July area, March of 14 here. So I'd click on that date there. And then it would show up here as all my reminders. So my next reminder coming up is my registration sticker is due in July 1st. My next oil change needs to be done July 14th. My car inspection needs to be done in February 1st of 2016. I can get a new battery in September 1st of 2016. And I, I simply know that these are after two years. I can get a free battery replacement. So I would never know that just by looking at the receipt. So you have the option to type notes in here to remind yourself later when you pull this note up on what specific things and actions you need to take place um, to remind you whenever you do bring this back up. And so that's just kind of a quick, quick example of how powerful this can be. I think it's extremely beneficial to be able to click on all this information and know when um, all these things are coming up. And I click my filter off on my tag and now I can see my wife's oil change is coming up, her registration sticker and so forth. So um, I can easily see all our car information in one simple location. And it just takes time to build this information so don't feel discouraged if this seems like too much because it really just takes a little bit of time to get there. So that's all for today. That's a quick lesson I wanted to show you. Feel free to email me at zwayand, that's Z-W-E-Y-A-N-D at gmail.com for any questions or recommendations. Our next lesson, we're going to go a little bit more in depth with shortcuts, reminders, and note linking. That's all for today. Thank you so much.